look at those eyes. <laughs> he has some crazy eyes on him. He is looking pretty cuckoo here. Like, what is he looking at? Welcome back to my channel, my little cherries. For those of you who are new, my name is Cherie, and we are back with our Werewolf Diaries LP. Here we have Manabu and little Zoya. He's trying to teach her to say please and thank you right now, and she was not feeling it a minute ago. She was like, I am not trying to say please and thank you. Let's see her little moodlet here. Thankless. Oh, Zoya does not want to say please or thank you. No, no way, no how. You can't make her. <laughs> so cute. She is really not trying to do that. But we're going to teach her to say please and thank you anyhow. Let's check in on little Wolfie and see what he's up to. Uh, where is Wolfie? Let's see if we can find him here. Oh, he's in the bathroom. I think Melva just given him a bath. Uh, yeah, she because his hygiene is way up. So she just gave him a little bath. And now he's just dancing around in the bathroom looking cute. What is Melba up to? Oh, she is reading the Book of the Bees. She is studying up and she is trying to up that werewolf lore. Um, let's see how far she's gone with this here. Werewolf lore is at a 6 and her werewolf XP is at a 1. So yeah, we want to gain some more XP and her lore is actually doing pretty good. She actually has more point more than I thought she would. More skill in that than I thought she would have. But yeah, seems like she's doing good in that. Let's see what Simon's up to. Uh, he's down here on the computer. Who knows what's going on there? Let's see. Oh, he's chatting. I wonder who he's chatting to. Who? Manabu is still here with our little Zoya. She's so cute. I can't get enough of her, but she is just so bad. Like, every time he asks her, like, you want to go to sleep? You want to eat? She's like, no. She does not want to, like, do anything that he wants her to do. Like, she's like, no. It's always, like, an argument with this little one here. She's so cute, though. And I know you guys are probably wondering, who are all these extras down here? Hmm. So, what had happened was, remember the episode where we bit, well, Melba bit a bunch of different townies. So, these are the townies that she bit uh, back then. But when we first invited them all over, I think it was, it was these three that she bit in the, that episode. When she invited them over recently, they hadn't changed into werewolves yet. So, or they had, they, it was like they didn't even change at all. So we had to have her bite them all again. I think I had Simon bite a few of them too. So, yeah, everybody here has gotten bit and everybody here has had the um, mark of the beast. So we are just waiting for them to change. I just added them to the family because I want them to change into werewolves. And that way we can add add all of them to our wolf pack. So that is why these guys are here. But I think what I want to do is because right now they're crazy CC'd up. Like I don't know what's going on here. But I think what we're going to do is is give them a little makeover very soon because they can't be walking around looking like this so i think that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go create a sim and i'm gonna change them up real quick and we're gonna come right back little tiny makeover not too much I just wanted to take a lot of those crazy accessories they had on so so many accessories you couldn't even see them but this is Miki she is one of our werewolves that we are waiting while well, she's got the mark of the beast and she's gonna change soon um, who else do we have here we have Saki here she's all scratched up um, I don't know why she has all these bites on her I think she still has 
these marks are probably from the werewolf i don't know about this one over here but yeah this is saki so she's in she's gonna turn soon to let's see she has about five hours so that's not too long especially in sim time um maybe we will get to see them change i'm not sure if we will but hopefully we will soon um and here is Dachi, I think we changed him before. Um, we definitely did change him before, and he didn't change into a werewolf then, but we are going to have him change now. He's not feeling too good. Um, he has about six hours until he changes. Recently bitten. Um, yeah, and he got a bad aftertaste from whatever he ate. But yeah, pretty soon they will all be changing into werewolves, and then I'll probably move them out to their own little spot. Let's see what the little kid are up to oh she's so cute oh my god look at their glowing eyes like their eyes are so cute look at how her eyes just glow that is crazy how they have the glowing eyes she's so adorable um let's see what little wolfie's up to oh he's getting a bath all right well that's cool he's getting a little bath um, they look like they're kind of frozen a little bit here. Are they stuck in a pose? Probably. Let's see if I can reset them real quick. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> let me put him, let me have her put him back in. Or can she? I don't know. Everything seems to be blinked out. Let's see, um, if she can get him back in the tub. Bonded groggy. Yeah, because he definitely still needs oh, to get yes. his hygiene up. So we're gonna put him back in the tub. Hopefully they don't go into that like stuck state they were in. Okay, he's back in. We're washing him up. Alright, alright. Looks like things are the way they're supposed to be. Um, what's Simon up to? Taking the garbage out. Let's see it. Oh, did he? Oh, no. I thought he fell down, but he started running. <laughs> that wolf run gets me every time. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? Hey, look at the way he's holding the trash bag. I can't. <laughs> that was too funny. I wish I would have got a picture of him holding that bag like that. <laughs> and he's off again. So funny. What's Manabu up to? He's feeling relieved. We had a little fire because one of our awaited uh, werewolves tried to cook and they started to fire earlier. But thankfully we got that under control. Feeling great. Okay. Let's see. Oh! Do you see what I see? There's a little love thing over. Let's open some profile. Has he been flirting with Miki? <gasps> Romantic interest? It's too early to tell, but there could definitely be something there. What? Now, when we said we were in an open relationship, that didn't mean Manabu. Manabu, have you been flirting with Miki? Let's see what her profile says. Uh, let's see what her uh, sentiments are about yeah. him. <sighs> Perceived as basic looking. <laughs> Perceived as basic looking. Are you serious? Romantic interest too. They, there could something be... Wait, y'all gonna have to stop. Are we already in a throuple? Now you're trying to add somebody else, Manabu? Oh, oh, looks like someone's having a little accident there. Oh, so cute. Did she fart? <laughs> she might have just farted. It was some green smoke. I cannot believe Manabu. Let's see what Melba's feeling towards Manabu. Is she, like, jealous or anything? Oh, she shouldn't be, but... There's no jealousy or anything going on here, so that's good. But still, I wonder if they even know. Simon may feel some type of way. Let's check his profile. Well, this is... Let's see. Let me go to Simon. And let's see how he's feeling about Manabu. 
Is there any jealousy? They're still just acquaintances. They aren't best friends yet. So we probably need to work on that relationship a bit. Get them to at least be friends. Um, yeah, I would like that. Oh my gosh. She's all dinged up. Come on, girl. She got only got four hours until she changes. So. So, so. You guys, hopefully it'll Just change soon Amanda. and then we can have them all Good be a part goal. of our wolf pack because that's what Grisham. our goal is. We want to have the biggest Bridget? wolf pack. I don't know how big we're going to be able to actually get it, Shelner. but we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to try to get it Shemaga pretty large. Um, so there will be Donna three. Kano. And I thought we, I don't know if the professor Donna is a part of our wolf pack yet, but we will see. If we can, if he's not a part of our wolf pack, we'll definitely try to recruit him and see what he says. I think we did ask him before and he didn't want to, but he may change his mind. So we'll see about that. Saki is evil. Evil Sims all oh, become happy from the misery of others and have a variety of ways to accomplish this. She's an evil Sim. But persuasion skill will help him influence others. Oh, he has a persuasion skill. Okay. Listen. Where is I'm going to keep an eye on this one, though. What's her name? Miki? Oh, now she's up here talking to Simon. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. I don't know. Maybe we should keep them in the house for just like drama to kick it up, kick up some drama. <laughs> Who knows? I'm dead. Simon's voice is so like deep. What is going on? There better not be any flirting going on. Kashushi. Arabe Finch. Paladin the Shore. Luchi. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta keep an eye on this one. Frenzied. That's Simon from his beastly power. Yeah, actually, after he turned into a hybrid, he did have like some frenzied, beastly emotion. Like he was attacking everyone at, at one point. He attacked, um, I think that maybe that's where Saki got her scars from. Because he did like maul her pretty much. Zoya, she's so cute. Yeah, teeny bit. Now we're with uh, Melba and Wolfie. Wolfie just had a bad dream, so Melba was playing with them for a little bit. It's about 7 a.m. now, so we did fast forward a little bit, um, but don't worry, we have not missed the changing of these three here. They're so they're feeling pretty bad though at this point. Um, very uncomfortable. They're all feeling pretty sick. So yeah, hopefully. Well, they only got about two hours, so yeah, they're gonna be changing very soon. It looks like a little Zoya has had something to eat already. I'm going to have Manabu take her out of this chair. He has to get to work soon, too. Was that his for his work? Yeah, he has to go to work, like, right after this. So take the baby out of the chair. Place her down, and now you he is off to work. Let's see where oh, Simon's right there. I didn't even realize he was sitting right there. He needs to browse intelligence, so I think I'm gonna have him do that. Um, let's see if anyone is on, so it's always someone on this computer. Is she did she break it? I think she broke it. <laughs> She broke it. It's like literally always someone on this computer. I'm not going to hire a repair service. I'm just going to replace it and have Simon come down here and do what he needs to do. Uh, yeah, so he needs to get a promotion. Let's check in on the kiddos. Aw, she's sad because she was left behind. Well, sorry, daddy got to go to work. 
That's how it is. Where's Melba? Seneca, yum. Oh, she can't get out. <laughs> Woofie's got her trapped in there. Uh. Oh, Wolfie, let's have you go over here so Melba can uh, get out of the bathroom. I cannot believe Manabu has been flirting with Miki. Like, are you serious? Like, you ain't getting enough with Simon and Melba. Now you gotta go get yourself a side, John, already? <laughs> Come on. Trippin'. How you... No, no, no. Don't go over there. I want to play. Hmm. Tyler Care? No, that's not it. How about just go pick her up? Uh, Simon looks like he's not feeling too great. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Look at those eyes. <laughs> he has some crazy eyes on him. He is looking pretty cuckoo here. Like, what is he looking at? He's supposed to be looking at the computer screen. He's looking like up oh, at the ceiling. This is so weird. <laughs> I have to get a screenshot of this. He is looking so weird. What is his problem? So let's see what's going on with him. He's still frenzied. So I don't know how long. Is this going to like stay? Like he's just going to have this all the time? Um, he needs to. He has. He, he needs to uh, drink. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have him bite someone. Maybe he'll bite Melba. <laughs> get it from her. Aww. Or maybe I can send Simon out. I know there was a plasma tree somewhere around here. There it is. I'm going to send him out here to harvest all. Um, after he's done with that, he'll go out there and harvest. Um, he's 50% done, so yeah. <laughs> he's still looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> Look at him. He's so weird. Like, what is that? Get a little farther ahead in the day. Not much, though. But Melba has just put the kids down for a nap. All of our little house guests here have went to sleep, too. They're all feeling really bad and really exhausted. So, yeah. But I just wanted to show you guys this. Soon as Manabu came home from work, where do you think he came? Right down here. He woke Miki up and now they're sitting down here talking while Melba is up here studying her Book of the Beast. Yeah, he came right in. Didn't even say anything to Melba. Went straight downstairs and started talking to Miki. So these two are pretty scandalous right now. Like they are, he is like all about her right now. So I think he's pretty tired from work though. So he's going to head up to bed. I think even Simon is asleep too. Even though it doesn't say that he is, but he is. Maybe I should send him in his bed because I think the bed he's in is Manabu's actually. So I think I'm going to send him to sleep over here if I can. Maybe just wake him, see if I can wake him up. He's not even like the sleep, like I don't understand. Like I'm just going to have to try to reset him here because I think something's going on with him. Um, so maybe see if I can just, okay. So maybe now I can send him to go to sleep or at least send him in here because Manabu is trying to go to bed. So you can't be in here, Simon. Bye-bye. Um, it wasn't, why doesn't it say sleep? Um, let's just send him to take a nap. I think he's pretty, oh, he's, he needs his needs, uh, taken care of. So I might have him go in here and take a bath. And then after he comes out, he can 
get something to quench his thirst send her back to sleep I mean they're all feeling pretty bad right now so and they still have a whole two days until um, oh actually it says 23 hours so there there is not much time left like they are gonna be changing soon I believe when this move is done we will see Oh, Mel, I guess Melba's done studying by now. Um, let's see what little Wolfie's up to. Is he still asleep? Oh, I'm surprised he's still asleep. Like, he usually does not stay in the bed too long. But he is still resting. And she's just going to stand here. <laughs> Why don't you go downstairs and, like, relax? You don't have to stand in the hallway, Melba. I'm going to send her down here to sit down. I think she was on her way to Wolfie's room, but she just stopped in her tracks for some reason. Now, who's Simon? I think Simon, we're just going to have him. I think we're just going to have Simon get a drink <laughs> off of Melba. Because every time I try to get him to eat the plasma fruit, it doesn't really fill him up that good. So... Maybe we can compel her for a small drink. We will see. Let's see. Okay. Compel. Ask for permission to drink. Okay, let's see if we ask her first. We're not just going to go for it. <laughs> we can ask her first. I wonder what she's going to say. Are you sure? Sure, Simon, I'll offer you my wrist. Wow, she actually let him do it. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. Like, they are together, but still. <laughs> uh, oh, he had to have him start researching some vampire lore so he can, like... Excel and be now that was some sweet oh, no, sweet talk. plasma. I'll definitely be coming back for more. Oh really? You think so, huh? Now let's see. That well, I got him halfway full, so that's not bad. I'm also gonna have him go out back because I think there's a plasma tree out back. So let's have him do that. Okay. So let's have him come down here. And I don't know. See, I kind of want to do romantic interactions, but then I don't want to like push the relationship. I kind of just want to see what happens between them. Ask if Miki has children. That's a good question. Let's ask if she has any kids. Yeah, I kind of want to let like just to see what happens, like what they'll do. I kind of want to let them like do it on their own. I don't want to push it too much or sway it too much. So. Yeah, but I'm just going to have him go down there and chat a bit. It's like, as soon as everybody's about to go to sleep for the night, the kids are going to be waking up. <laughs> I don't have any children. Okay, okay. Good. Oh, I sent him out here. Alright, let's have him uh, fill his belly the rest of the way up and eat plasma fruit they have two different ways to eat it you can eat it like a wolf and then you can just eat it like a vampire with the straw oh look how he eats it like a wolf <laughs> that was cool and it's so still isn't full see that like it takes so much to fill him up especially when you use when you um drink the plasma fruit like it just it takes a lot to fill him up he can eat like five of these and still not be full. Did it even go up? I don't even think it went up any. Listen, he's about to be compelling everyone for a drink. Is there anyone around? Maybe Manabu will let him, um have a drink or now who's this this is um uh girl Saki all right go to the bathroom and then Simon's gonna try to get a drink off her <laughs> next he is hungry or thirsty rather 
Alright, Melba, we'll let you cook some food because I know you know how to cook, so I'm going to be burning down the house anytime soon. Oh, looks like the kitties are up. Oh, what is going on with little Wolfie? Oh, he was like glowing red for a minute there. What is going on? Okay, his hygiene is down and he's hungry. So which one are we going to take care of first? They're about at the same level. So let's um, give Wolfie something to eat first and then we'll take care of his other needs. What is this she made? She made a beet oak tea that's normal quality. Well, you that's going to have to wait. Go take care of little Wolfie. Let's see how... Is Zoya on her way? She's on her way too. They're like... It's 10 o'clock at night. They just woke up. Alright, where is Simon? He's still outside. Where is Manabu? <laughs> Still down here talking. Go see about your kid. How about that? Who is this at the door? We don't need no company right now. It's 10 p.m. Um, what's going on with her? Okay, same deal. She's hungry and she needs a bath. So let's um have some food first. Look at them with their little green smoke floating all around. <laughs> Stinky little cells. Come on, Manabu. Come get Zoya. Hurry up. Eat up. Eat up. Because we got to give you a bath. I'm trying to put them back to bed. <laughs> What are you doing? I feel like it takes them so long to like do what I ask them. I was about to say, who is this? That's the <laughs> that's one of our house guests. Uh, and the sink is broke again. Mop that floor. That you're gonna eat the sandwich that Melba made? Uh uh. Put it down. I'm gonna put that right in her inventory. <laughs> Trying to steal her food. Where'd it go? She got so much stuff in her inventory. I don't even know where it went. Wonderful chill pills. Ah. I'm wanting mood, mood swings from pre-menstrual. Oh, it's like some cramping medicine. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, it's still here. No, don't eat our sandwich. No. <laughs> no, uh, you cannot eat that sandwich. That is not yours. <laughs> no, you cannot have that. Melba, you better come get this food. Everybody's after her sandwich. Like, gee. Can a girl get some food around here? Alright, where's Wolfie? Okay, somebody needs to give him a bath. Badly. We got a fight over a sandwich over here. Uh, give Bubble Bath. Sure. Uh, Melba. Why don't you give him her a little oh she's eating well where's Manabu? he's on his way to bed well guess what you gotta come back down here and give her a bath mm. oh my goodness if he don't lifestyle loss Belba has lost her close knit lifestyle okay well she'll live <laughs> she lost her close-knit knit lifestyle okay well 
Let's let her out. Can you do that, Manabu? So Melba can sit down and actually eat some food. Did he just hold his nose? Why won't you give these kids a bath? Like, how many times do I have to click give a bath? <laughs> Crazy. So, I think I'm going to wrap this part up here, guys. I know it was a little all over the place, but I promise, you know, the next video will be a little more put together. This one was, like, all over the place. I've been having a little trouble with my audio lately. Um, that's why this episode was so late, but I'm getting it together, and I will see you guys in my next episode. Bye, guys.